やるクラッキンクラッキンデイあっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちっちバーバブーズ。Just gonna head up this、uh, like mile, mile and a bit of、uh, road and、uh, farm track up、uh, to the base of Jacob's Ladder, up Jacob's Ladder.、Um, and then I'm gonna go. I've got two ways to go again. I'm doing a bit of a circular. This bit's a repeat,、uh, but when I get up on top, it'll be a, a loop. So. I think the plan is up to the top of Jacob's Ladder, up onto the top. I'm going to carry on over to Edale Cross.、Um, and then、uh, take the trail off over there. What puts me to、uh, below Kinderlow End and onto Claw the Rocks. Go and have a look for this dog stone, which I'd never heard of until the other day. But,、uh, One or two folk have posted photos on it on、uh, Dark Peak Group and stuff, so always like a new,、uh, new target to go and find. So come and have a look for that, and then、uh, hopefully, God, this <laughs> super icy road. Jacob's Ladder should be fun if it's all like this. The、uh, four steps up and 28 back. But,、uh, Anyway, yeah, up to e d e l c r o s s over to see if we can find this dog stone with all these weird carvings in it.、Uh, like a coded thing. But in the meantime, no cloud in the sky. Might have to swap hats in a bit though, it's a bit,、uh, bit chilly to tabs. Well, I'll not, I'll not gear up until I'm on top of Jacob's because the That's、uh, definitely a warmer upper jobby. <laughs> right, that away. Quite pleasant when you're in the shelter. And,、uh, get out to open a bit. A bit,、uh, a bit biting to ears.、Uh, about another ten minutes or so to the base of Jacob's. There you are, the bridge. There's Jacob's ladder in front of me. All you do is just go down the base and literally just around the corner. So, below Jacob's Ladder. It's a nice little waterfall. What everybody seems to walk by, because they just go straight up the、uh, straight up the glory. Yeah, just over the top there and wall packs. Yeah, just have a, a wander around. Let's have a look. There we are. I'll say people just go all the path so they don't,、uh, they don't see that. Also, if you do, if you're rep hunting, jump the river down here somewhere, carry on past it, and go up on one of those side banks there. There's two aircraft wreck just up on this plateau be below the main,、uh, main ridge called the Cloughs. It was an Amstern and an Oxford. Two, a, so a main debris pool for each, and then an engine、uh, about 100 meters away in a four foot hole at the top of the one of the cliffs. That's a bit harder to track down, but、uh, there's no way it is, it's easy, same as out. The base of Jacob's Ladder. I suppose I'll time and send up it from this first step to the cairn at the top. 
just have a minute. Right. Three, two, one. Start the clock. It's uh, surprisingly absolutely clear on these stones. I'm half expecting it to be a uphill skating ring. First zig. First zag. Definitely out of condition. Still don't get calves going though. And out pumping. And warm you up on minus three days. This is a killer now because it sort of levels out. You can definitely feel it. And you thought, shall I have another break? But then you see Ken. So it's like, ah, push on. Have a minute at the, at the can. Stop the clock. Ten minute thirty four seconds. I've done that. I've done that in about five and a half minutes. So swine's back, a couple of people just, just come over the worship stage. Uh he dealt rocks, no stool, Pim's chair, wool packs. Uh, the path I would normally take is this right fork which takes you up onto Kinder Plateau. Well, on this occasion, I'm gonna carry straight on up this bit of a stream bed. I'll stay on the side because it looks like a bit of a skating ring into the snow line. And then uh, so, through the gate, drop down to Edale, cross, carry on down the rough path a little bit, and uh, take the right path that veers off. That'll take me around and underneath Kinderlow End, uh, stay under. Uh, she'll bring me out at Fuller Rocks, which is sort of where my uh, target destination is if we can find this dog stone that everybody's been posting so if we can go up here without breaking my neck first might be the first challenge walking up a slight gradient with ice all over it tends to uh, Make it a bit trickier. Not too bad, a minute. Not get complacent. Because that's where you break your leg. Through this gate. It's two ways here. You can either go left, which takes you up towards uh, Brown Knoll and Horse Hill Tor, Rush of Page, back to Mantor. Or if you carry on on the path, it brings you out towards South Head and Mount Famine, which should come into view shortly to us because we just get around this uh, little mound. We're going up to that next rise. There's like an open gate post, and that's where Edale crosses. That's where I'm heading first. 
There's the south head just appeared. Mount Famine's a bit further around behind this corner here. Right. Right, just on this rough path now, you got South Head and Mount Famine. All covered in snow last time I was on that. But I'm just carrying on around, around the base. So I'm just going to curl around to the uh, west side of Kinder now. So I'm just around this ridge and uh, it sort of veers off to me right and puts me underneath as a Kinder low end. Quite pleasant out here when it's uh, when that wind just stops, it's dead still. Just come down this path here. There's a south head and Mount Famine in front of me. But that wind, as soon as that wind drops, warms up dramatically and uh, very pleasant as soon as that wind kicks over whew, minus three ears are, <laughs> ears are dropping off it's one of them you can't can't dress for you lay up stay warm and then you're sweating you lay down and you from warm and pleasant to freezing. Uh, I guess that shoulder over keeping the wind off. As soon as I come around there, it's uh, blowing again. Got from tropical around that corner to uh, Arctic here. Uh, yeah, so that shooting cabin there, Burnt Hill, Mill Hill, where the Liberator is, William Clough. Bring you up onto uh, Sandy Hayes on Kinder. There's that uh, alien jump off point on the end of there as well. Two sabres on that end around the corner. Kinder downfall just over there out of sight. I see there's a path off to my right, but it's up, up, up. And where I want to be is down. <laughs> so uh, I'll go up. I've got a down climb quite steep and then obviously go back up quite steep. So I um, can't have a walk without doing a bit of off-piste. So I'm going to go line of sight direct to it and then climb out rather than climb up, climb down, climb up again. So sort of gradual down and over. And then a relatively steep up. I've got two Fluffed about at the minute. So, try and make it so it's just one or minimal. One. So, underground one. Half a mile. To go and majority of it will be through this lot. Just done probably a lot more off piece than I really needed to. Came under Kinderlow end, I've dropped off the path there, so I've come off all this. Head the hopping and clough hopping rather than go up over the top. There's a sort of path up there and then drop down to it and then have to go back up out. So I thought I'd be, uh, thought I'd be smart and stay on the same sort of rough altitude. And uh, off piste it to it. And that probably used four times the energy than uh, it would have done going up to come down to go up again. But it, uh, it all counts. What don't kill you make you stronger. Half cut out mill. 
stone. No photo, this rock looks to be like a standing end on thing, but that's not helping up here because there's quite a few. Just gotta get down here without falling down a big landslip. I do not know what's under your feet on here. Big holes appear from nowhere. There. The millstone half done. Find a rock. Feel the rocks. There we go. Bonus. Dog rock. Found it. That will be a nightmare without coordinates, I'll tell you. Nightmare with. Right, that there be dogstone. Random boulder We coded text in the middle of a boulder field, like you do. Alright, now all we've got to do is get out of here. Alright, for now then, the only way is up. That's enough off piece for today, I think. I'll just have to do a little bit more. I've just found the path after a lot of up. Now, this path will take me further round and take me back to Redbrook or I can uh, basically break up onto that path above us on that summit there uh, which is the main Pennine way or go, go all the way that way probably half a mile to come half a mile back or just sort of head find a, a bit of a cut to take a more direct route I think that's what I'm going to look at. I'm getting cows to work out today. Head the rock in above the snow white. Right, I've said it twice before. That should be it for the off piece. Right, anyway, back on the Pennine Way. Heading towards Kinderlow. Just the, uh, we're going past the Hamden wreck very shortly. Just trying to fall down any holes under the snow. Should be two debris pools, only little ones, but debris pools nonetheless. Here you go. One little pool there. Yep. And then the memorial plaque. And a bit more debris. Basically there. But it's uh, a bit snowed in at the minute. But there you are, there's the uh, Second pool here, there's just under the snow line. Quite a few little shards. Nothing to uh, write on about. It's there nonetheless, worth a visit. Uh, yeah. Not to go up to it, I suppose. 
roads are a lot so dry so in the low trig it's a pim's chair wool packs on the back drives low and all you can just see behind pim's chair um stanage edge in the background wind hill lives uh, back tour up to uh, man tour sorry rush up's edge horse hill tour onto here onto kinder plateau we've got kinder low end down there mount famine south head place for a cup of tea and a bit of a sit down. I'm gonna go back down there now, right down that valley. Just on the uh, base of the swine's back. <laughs> Going back the way I came up now. Duplicate it next mile and a half. On the loop above me. On the Pennine Way, just on the descent. That's right below the snow line, and not that much snow appears only. It's deep in places. I see as an icy thing though on some of the paths. Right, top of Jacobs. Farm. Back on the concrete, tarmac, whatever. Rest at way now. Glorious day though, whole day. Had a little bit, a little bit blowy, a little bit biting, but nothing, uh, nothing dramatic. Just been in jumper all day. I had to put my coat on or. We're going to swap hats at one point, we never did. Right, that's the uh, base of Crowd and Clough. Still on the Pennine Way. And play at this phone box. Uh, around this corner. Uh, 300 metres. Another little corner, and there should be the car. And there we was back. Nine point two three miles, four hours forty six minutes. <laughs> 